Now, earlier I promised you a, well, an extended interview with uh, Owen Dagama, the coach of Highlands Park. Leverhan Dube spoke to the team, and, well, the conversation went like this. But unfortunately, that's how we're going to have to leave the show for tonight. So do stay with SABC News Channel at the top of the hour. You've got Shante, he's got more news for you. That's how the conversation with Highlands coach Owen Dagama went with Leverhan Dube. Bye-bye. Coach, uh, once again, congratulations on your promotion into the Elite League. Your first game um, against Orlando Pirates. How have the nerves settled, uh, considering that it's a team that uh, did extremely well last season, finishing second uh, on the log? Yeah, I think uh, Orlando Pirates, uh, with a bit of luck, uh, Orlando Pirates could have won that league. They are in no doubt one of the, uh, probably the best team in, in the PSL, uh, with Sundowns and Chiefs. Um, but for us, it's very, very important to go out against Orlando Pirates. You cannot comp compare yourself to Orlando Pirates. That's, a, that's an iconic team. It's a big team with good supporters. What we can do is to go and play against Orlando Pirates and try and make sure that we go to another level. Orlando Pirates will help Highlands Park go to another level. And I, th and, and I think that's important. Uh, so we respect the fact, but there's no fear. It's all about you know, growing as a team. And you, you, you cannot start in grade 10. You've got to start in grade, uh, grade uh, zero, go to grade one and go up to, to grade 12. And then you do your degree. Um, so we know as a team that we're going to compete against the best possible team. But what we are certain of is that we're going to be very competitive. And number two, we're going to gain a lot from playing against Orlando Pirates. Coach, you've kept uh, a bulk of, of the team that played in the NFD that gained you promotion in, into, into the PSL. Um, looking at the team, how competitive they were, how they performed, uh, the performance, what are your expectations from the players ahead of the campaign? It's, 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 it's you know, as, as confident as you'd like to be. Uh, there are players that will be able to make the step up to the PSL. There are players that might not make the step up. So we have to wait and see. You know, a lot of players, um, we are confident. They'll come up and do tremendously well. And I think that's why we've brought in a little bit of experience just to help them grow. But uh, we have to, to really give them a chance because they did fantastically well in, in, in the NFD. Um, so we are keeping our fingers crossed that everybody will go into the PSL and make a name for themselves. I think this is a, an, an arena, this is a stage where stars are born. So we hope maybe one or two stars will be born from Highlands Park. Speaking about the experience, um, in recent years or in the previous years, um, we've seen a trend where teams that come up from the NFD into the PSL, what they tend to do is that they would go and get players who had plied their trade in the PSL. In your case, you didn't go for as many players who have played in the PSL before you went for most of the players who have played in the NFD. I mean, uh, what was the thought behind that? I think, you know, when we, sit, when we sat as a technical team and with management, we said we have to bring a, a combination of players. We've got to bring in youth, we've got to bring in hunger, and we've got to bring an experience. And um, I, I don't say we've got it right or that's the right formula, but it certainly gives us hope that uh, we can grow as a team. So, um, and you've got to pay tribute to the players that got us where we are. You can't just, I think it's 100% of the players who played more than five games, they're all here in the P they will be in the PSL. Apart from injuries to Chris Komani and, and one or two other players. Uh, but you've got, to, you, you've, got to, you've got to pay tribute to the players that brought you here uh, and you need to strengthen. So I hope we got the formula right. Uh, it's just a matter of time and, 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 uh, and essence of whether they can take the step up. Could you personally have the experience of having brought up a team um, in Silver Stars from the NFD into the PSL and you've done it again uh, with uh, Highlands Park. Uh, do you consider that the experience that you gained then and having done well with Silver Stars, having brought them from the NFD, that you know it will um, perhaps work wonders for you this time around? Um, not only my experience. I think Highlands Park is about the collective. 
Alan Fries has also got ex experience. He also brought Highlands Park to, to the Premier League. Um, you've got Victor Chabalala, a local boy here, who's got a tremendous uh, football brain. Uh, so it's all about the combination. Uh, and if you look back to when we got promoted with, uh, Sil I mean, we went from the from the fourth division with Silver Stars right through to the Premier League. Um, things have changed. I believe the NFD is much more professional. The PSL is much more professional. It's the, it's the best league in, in, in Africa, if not one of the best in the world. So, yes, a lot has, has changed, but um, I think the experience uh, will not only come from me, but it will come from the collective, even from management. It will come from everybody. We sit as a collective and we plan. And, and, and I think uh, that could be something that could really help us. Speaking about the technical team, uh, Coach, the relationship that you have with your technical team, do you perhaps also think that that was a catalyst to your success in the NFD? Most definitely. There's, there, there's no doubt about it. We are a unity. We respect each other. Um, and, and, and we work as a family. And, and the players can see that, that we are, the collective is, is very, very strong there. So yes, uh, where I speak Tsonga, Ellen hits them in Zulu. I speak Venda, uh, 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 Victor, Owashang, uh, uh, Su too, you know. So we, 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 it, it, it's, it's quite a combination of, of a team that can speak to players' hearts, not to their minds. I always believe that when you speak to a player in his language, you speak to his heart. And uh, I think we can speak to the players' hearts. And I think that has been part of the, the success here. We've also got uh, Simone Conley, who is a, a highly qualified biokinetist with three degrees. Um, she, has, she, she has laid the foundation of, of this team from a, a, a biokinetics uh, um, pers perspective or from a sports science pers uh, perspective. We've got Chris Comfer. We've, we've got Stephen Ekakala. We've really got a very, very... Uh, a very, very well uh, oil technical team that work together as a family. Obviously, coach, your fans are expecting um, that the team at least remains uh, in the PSL in the Elite League. But you know that uh, in the past we've had teams that you know come up into the PSL and automatically get relegated again. What is it uh, that you think is different that you guys need to do to ensure that you at least you know maintain or uh, you know uh, remain in the PSL? Yeah, I think, I think the most important thing that we've done, we don't know it all. What we've done, we've tried to learn from the mistakes that Highlands Park made and the good things that they did. We're trying to learn from the good things that Barocca did, that Polo Kwani did, that a lot of other teams did. We've tried to learn from them and, uh, and, 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 and bring it together and see how, can that help, how that can help us. So I think the most important thing is, is, is the most important thing when you come into the PSL is to respect the PSL. Once you res respect the PSL, you've got a chance. Speaking about supporters as well, um, you're in Tembisa. Uh, they've definitely supported the team through thick and thin. And uh, obviously, as the technical team and the players, and obviously in the management as well, you don't want to disappoint uh, the fans and the support that they've given you. There's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, the, the supporters will, will always remain the 12th player. And uh, we are going at length to make sure that we try and sign as many as possible players from Tembisa so that people can identify with them. And uh, in our juniors, I mean, we've got 13 in our, um, in, in our lower leagues, which is our MDC and the Castle League and the under-19. We've got 13 Tembisa boys. So we are trying to make sure, and from Daviton, and from uh, uh, Tsakani, all, all the areas in, within the Kuru, uh, Ekurulen uh, uh, um, precinct, we, we, we're really trying to make sure that people can identify with players. Victor Chavalala, the assistant coach, is, is a local boy. Uh, Sinki Munisi is a local guy uh, who is our, our director. So we are trying to make sure that the people of Tembisa or the people of Ekurleni take ownership of this team. They understand that this is their team. Yes, we will make mistakes. We don't say we're going to win every game. We will make mistakes. But there's one thing for sure. The preparation and the foundations that we've put into place um, has, 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 has really give, given us a lot of confidence that we've got a very stable foundation that can allow this team to grow to get just better and better over the years. So we, 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 we are really geared up for that. Coach, thank you very much for taking time to speak to us and good luck ahead of the new campaign.
Thank you very much. We always appreciate it. Um, we want to thank you for making sure that people understand what, what we are about. Thank you very much.